Good morning, dear friends. It's Fisher here. Today we continue with our beautiful stories, The Power of the Spirit by Alfred Hoss, also known as Freddy in the book. So today Bruno is、uh, giving a speech and also help、uh, the Quantums、uh, achieve his、um, their healing. And、uh, there is a gentleman who has his、uh, right arm paralyzed for years, and is receiving the help from Bruno. And Bruno asks him, "So what have you got on your head?" And the puzzled man raised his left arm, as he was used to. And no, no, not that side. You need to feel on the other side. That is right. Please raise your right arm a little higher still, and reach over your head with it to your temples on the other side. Still a little more. Yes. Now. You are at the right spot. I am satisfied now. Thank you. You have helped me a great deal. But now stand up. I believe you have been sitting long enough. And then the man suddenly is shouting, "Oh, oh, my arm! My right arm! He has been paralyzed for three years. And now, look here! Look here, all of you!" Now I can move it again without any difficulty, and my right leg. Oh, it's free! Yes, I feel the same strength as before. In my healthy days, I don't know how I should thank you, Mister Gurney. And Bruno continued to say, "Do not thank me. Thank God continually for what He does for you." And for all his human children, at every moment, there is no affliction that cannot return to good order again. But those who ask for help must themselves first of all let go. That is, they should not constantly think about their suffering. It is better if they expect nothing in particular. And completely give themselves over to calm and quietness. It is then that the unexpected, the divine, can suddenly happen exactly as you have experienced just now. But a person must show themselves worthy of their healing, and must not listen again to what is not good, and thus end up serving it. Otherwise, they run the risk of losing all the good once more, because of the doubt they take on. Hello, dear friends. So today, just Bruno. It's just one of the days Bruno help、uh, the sick person return their health, and in just the healing happened instantly. Instant. It's like a miracle. You see, somebody has been、uh, paralyzed, had a stroke, has been paralyzed for years, and suddenly start walk again. You'll be shocked, wouldn't you? Yes,、uh, the miracle always happens. It just、uh, we don't see it often, so we believe the miracle is a miracle. Actually, the miracle should be just、uh, as normal as、uh, what the normal things we believe it is. So basically, what Bruno. Uh, talking about here is God is always with you. God is always、um, works, always works, continuously work for all His human children, every single moment. And there is no afflictions, no illness that cannot be cured by the divine help, divine energy of God. It's very important. How often you got told? When you go to see your doctors, your specialist, that, oh sorry, you have a cancer, or you have a this and lupus, or whatever this and that,、um, you know, disease disorder, and then sorry, and then, you know, it's incurable. But rarely you see、um, our doctors, of course, like、uh, I, most of them, I believe, they have a good intention treating you, but they always say. Sorry, you are incurable, 
and then they hardly admit. Sorry, the medical science now is not advanced enough to treat you. Have you ever heard doctor say that? Sorry, it's just because our limited knowledge, our limited perception of the medical science, so we that we cannot treat you. Instead of saying you you are incurable, everything has a cure. If there's a cause, there's an effect. There's a good, there's a bad. So there's a disease, there's health. So nothing is incurable, as what Bruno said here, dear friends. Nothing is incurable, regardless, whatever the terrible situation or whatever the terrible medical condition you in now. It is always a cure. It just matter where you will find it. There's a gold everywhere on the planet, but how good are we to find the gold? That's the question. So always have faith, dear friends. There is always a cure. God is Almighty. That's what the old saying is. The devil is mighty, but God is Almighty. And there is always a way out to help you, to free you from your afflictions. So believe first. It doesn't matter if some people say, "Oh, look, I'm atheist. I don't believe in God." But that's fine. Least you believe yourself can be helped. Least you believe you can be cured. Least you believe you can be healthy. That is all. Least you can be believe you always serve good, you do good, and good will come to you, dear friend. So always have faith first. The marathon runners cannot run a marathon without believing he or she can, to begin with. Otherwise, he might already collapse after ten kilometers. So first, you believe you can achieve it, and then you will achieve it, very likely. So the mind is very strong, very very strong. In order to achieve a good health, so first of all, we have to let go all the bad. It's like you have old. I use this example over and over again. It's like you have old cup of tea or cup of milk. It's cold.、Um, it's old. It's cold. So you you first you don't put like an, some more water there just to make a new cup of tea. You get rid of your old cup of tea and put、uh, clean your cup and put new tea back there. Boil your kettle and then put fresh water, boiling water in it, and then you make a new cup of tea. And that cup of tea will serve a good purpose to your health. Of course, organic tea to be preferred. So same thing with all your medical condition. First, you have to let go what it doesn't belong to your mind, what it doesn't belong to your body, which is all the illness, the the, the illness thinking. It start from your mind, start from your head first. So basically, you have to give up your illness. So, basically, do not believe you are incurable, and let it go. So I let all my illness go. I let all my disease go, and preferably do not even say yours, because you take ownership of your disease, of your disorder, of the illness. So do not even to begin to own it. So I let. Everything negative go out of my body, out of my mind. That's daily what I say to myself. Okay, and then you let it go, and then after you let go, and then your cup is empty. When you have an empty cup, you can receive the good. So, be still. Know God is with you. And when you have empty cup, and slowly the divine good energy will fill your cup. Let the good come. You just need to be open to the good. And then when, do not set、uh, expectations. See,、uh, okay, within the year time, you know I have to be healed. You know I have to be better in what ways. So basically, you putting a demand. Okay, you demand the healing from God. That thing should not never be done. 
So let go of the bed, and then the God will decide when the divine healing will happen on you. So same thing. I'm going through、uh, my medical struggles. My I have genetic issues. I've been going through a terrible healing process、uh, for last six years.、Uh, it's long struggle. It's terrible. It's painful, and then I struggle to breathe. But I see my body gradually getting better, getting stronger. You know, my weight going down. And then, of course, when I suffer, I really say, "Oh Lord, I really please just let it pass." You know, like I'm, I'm coming to the end of my stage now. I can't bear this anymore. And then, of course, got, I got up in the morning, so you know I wasn't healed completely, but I still gonna push forward. We cannot wait for our healing in a way that we do nothing. So first, we walk on the good path, clean the cup, receive the healing energy every single day. Same thing with the marathon runner. The marathon runner star from red. For running 500 kilometers, and then gradually he's getting better. The same thing. Every single day, you put a little bit more good in your cup, a little bit more health in your body, and then the day you achieve, you are completely healing, and then you just say, "Oh, okay, I never expect that happened today," you know. But if you do nothing, and then you will never get there. So always strive for the good. And then the divine will happen all suddenly. That is often out of your expectation. Whenever God helps, often is unexpected. I experience all the time. So God always has better way for thing to be done. And then what we need to do is do not set any expectation on it. You say,、um, okay, I'm buying a car.、Um, You know, I only have five thousand dollars, so I probably only worthy of a, you know, certain type of car. So do not put a limit there. Just say, "Oh, I have five thousand dollars. I really would like a good car. So God, please show me the way and how the way I will obtain a good car on my limited five thousand dollars budget." And a miracle thing will happen. Often you just do not expect, but we must. Be open to the greater possibilities. And once we achieve the healing, and then we must count ourselves worthy of the healing. So do not listen again to the evil. Do not keep any evil thoughts in your mind for more than a second. So repel all the evil thoughts before it enter into your mind at the gate. And then your body will continuously serving the good, serving a good purpose for yourself and the people around you. Okay, dear friends, I wish you have a good day and God bless.